and a welcome back to you to my channel Arunika's Academy. I hope that you all are fine at your homes during this lockdown period. So today we are going to study a chapter of our book First Flight that is chapter number two, Nelson Mandela: A Long Walk to Freedom, as you can see, which is being written by Nelson Rolly Hala Hala Mandela. We all know Nelson Mandela. His full name is Nelson Rolly Hala Hala Mandela. So this chapter in your book is the extract from his autobiography, A Long Walk to Freedom. Friends, we all know Nelson Mandela, right? He spent thirty years of his life in the famous Robben Island. Why? For the sake of South Africans, black people. and we also know that he was the first black president of south africa right so and what did he do did he abolished the apartheid system what what is the apartheid system apartheid system is a political system which is based on the race in which the people discriminate between the race means the color of their skin right so today we are going to learn about this chapter only in this chapter nelson mandela has explained has tried to tell all of us that what are the difficulties in bringing in free in free in liberating the people of south africa from this crucial apartheid system right what are the struggles he did for this great freedom right so we will be going to study this in today's video mandela becomes south africa's first black president as we all know right he was the first black president of south africa so nelson mandela has become south africa's black first black president after more than 3 centuries of white rules we know that white are ruling so after the three centuries of the white rule he became the first black president of south africa so mr mandela's african national congress anc party won 252 out of 400 seats in the first democratic elections of south africa's history right so he formed also formed the african national congress congress party which is also known as anc okay so the inauguration ceremony in this he has explained the inauguration so what is the inauguration for so here the inauguration ceremony took place in the union building amphitheater in pretoria today attended by politicians and dignitaries right for various politicians are there and various dignitaries are there who attended this inauguration so from more than 140 countries around the world never never again will this beautiful land experience the oppression of one by another said nelson mandela in his address jubilant scenes on the streets of pretoria followed the ceremony with blacks whites and colored ce celebrating together more than 1 lakh south africans men women and children of all races sang and danced with joy so this is the introduction that what this chapter contains right now without wasting much time we will move to the towards our chapter so 10th may don't bright and clear For the past few days, I had been pleasantly beside by dignitaries and world leaders who were who were coming to pay their respects before the inauguration. So Nelson Mandela said that tenth May is the day full of dawn, bright and clear. Right? It was a bright and clear day, and on this day, the inauguration ceremony was being held in the land of South Africa. which was being i had been pleasantly beside beside means to be surrounded closely by so he said that i has been surrounded by all the dignitaries and the world leaders who has come to attend the inauguration okay the 
inauguration would be the largest gathering ever. The inauguration would be the largest gathering ever of international leaders on the South African soil or we can say South African land. Right? It is the biggest inauguration ever held. The ceremonies took place in the lovely sandstone amphitheater formed by the Union Building in Pretoria. Right? So what is amphitheater? The inauguration was held in the uh, sandstone, a lovely sandstone amphitheater which is formed by the Union Building in Pretoria. So amphitheater is a building without a roof. It's a building, large building, but it has no roof. Right? So here, for decades, this had been the seat of white supermassy. And now it was the site of the rainbow gathering of different colors and nations for the installation of South Africa's first democratic non-racial government. So he said that uh, for the decades, means decades is a period of 10 years, right? So for decades, this had been the seat of white supremacy, means the seat which, uh, is being of the white people who ruled the South Africa, okay? So here, and now it was a site of rainbow gathering of different colors. At that time it was ruled by only white people. But now it was a site of the rainbow gathering. Because, because different colors of people have come to attend the inauguration. Okay. So, and nations for the installation of South Africa's first democratic non-racial government. On that lovely autumn day. I was accompanied by my daughter Zanani. So he is telling that on that day, on that lovely day, he was being accompanied, means he has been come with his lovely daughter Zanani. Zanani was a daughter who is very close to her father, Nelson Mandela. Right? So on the podium, podium, Mr. D. Clerk was first sworn in as a second Gypsy president. So Mr. D. Clerk was the second deputy president. President was Nelson Mandela. Second deputy president was the Mr. D. Clerk. And then Thabo Mebeki was sworn in the first deputy president. First deputy president was Thabo Mebeki. And second deputy president was the Mr. D. Clerk. Right? So he was being accompanied by all these people on the podium. When it was my turn, he said that when it was my turn, I pledged to obey and uphold the constitution and to devote myself to the well-being of the republic and its people. To the assembled guests and the watching world I said. Now here has been extracted what he has been said. What he has assembled the people, what he has said to the people on that inauguration day when his turn comes. Right, so this is being all elaborated here that what he has said. So let's see what he has said. He said, he said, Today, all of us by our presence here, confer glory and hope to newborn liberty. So he said that today, by our presence over here, we confer, means we gave glory and hope to newborn liberty. Liberty means freedom. So today, we gave glory and confer, uh, we gave glory and hope to new one. Liberty means freedom. Out of the experience of an extraordinary human disaster that lasted too long. So this apartheid system was like a disaster, right? Which lasted too long. Must be born a society of which all humanity will be proud. He's saying that now the society which is being at the present, the society should be made like that, that in that society of which all humanity will be proud of themselves. We, who were outlaws not so long ago, have today given, been given the rare privilege to be the host of the nations of the world on our own soil. Right? We thank all of our distinguished international guests. He thanked all international guests who come to attend the inauguration. And he said, for having come to take possession with the people of our country. Right? So, of what is after all a common victory for justice, for peace, for 
human dignity right we have at last achieved our political emancipation emancipation means freedom from the restriction right we pledge ourselves to liberate all of our people from the continuing bondage of poverty deprivation suffering gender and other discrimination so these all were the dis discrimination which was being made on the south african land that are the poverty bondage of the poverty the deprivation the sufferings and gender and other discriminations right never never again shall it be that this beautiful land will again experience the oppression of one be one by another so he said that now never never again in the future this beautiful land will be will again experience this oppression which he has already experienced by the apartheid system of the white rules the black okay so the sun shall never set on so glorious a human achievement let freedom reign god bless africa so these were the speech or this was uh, this was a speech of the nelson mandela right now what he said a few moments later we all lifted our eyes in awe as a spectacular array of south african jets helicopters and troops carried road in perfect formation over the union building so spectacular array means a very colorful and attractive so at a sometimes uh, after a mute moment he saw we all saw we all lifted our eyes towards the sky and we saw that there was a array a spectacular array of south african jets means it was a very colored and attractive sight at the sky of the jets helicopters and troops carriers rode in perfect formation over the union building that is the pretoria right it was not only a display of pinpoint means it is not only the display of clarity precision means exactness and military force but a demonstration of the military's loyalty to democracy to a new government that had been freely and fairly elected only moments before the highest generals of south african defense force and police the chest bedat bedat means decorate their uniform with ribbons and medals from days gone by saluted me and pledged to their loyalty i was not unmindful of the fact that not so many years before they would not have saluted but arrested me so unmindful means at the past i was not aware of that the military people for so many years as he has spent 30 years of life 30 years of his life on the prison so he saying that i am not aware of or i don't bother that, that those military people only they have arrested me before this inauguration before we are fighting for the cause of a party they have only arrested me and but today they are saluting saluting me so it is uh, so he said that i am not be saying to them because why i am not saying to anything because military people are doing their own jobs only right they are or uh, they are only doing what their boss or what the government is saying them to do right finally a chevron of impala chevron means a pattern of v right jets left the smoke trail of the black red green blue and gold of the new south african flag the days was symbolized for me by the playing of our two national anthems and the vision of white singing so there were two national anthems which were sung the one for white and one for black so there were nakosi sikil i africa and black singing the white singing nakoki uh, nakoi uh, nakosi cycle i africa and the blacks were singing die step the old anthem of the republic although that day neither group knew the lyrics of the anthem they were dis despised means had a very low opinion of they would soon know the words by heart right so i hope that till now you have understood the chapter so as 
the video will be get too long for you to watch and you will be tired also right so that we will continue this chapter tomorrow or in my next video because the video will be too long so we will complete this chapter in parts right so guys that's all for today if you like my video please like it share it subscribe at it and please do not forget to comment down and write your uh, uh, queries in the comment section below so that's all for today thank you stay safe and be happy at your home